Hi, Larry Stewart here with Ford Construction Pros. I want you to meet Greg Tracy, who is nice a you. stunt driver. I get to meet a stunt driver. You've been breaking records with the Hot Wheels for a while. Talk a little bit about uh, the kinds of things that you've done. Yeah, so this goes back a little ways, but originally Hot Wheels had come to uh, a friend of mine and myself to design, really the whole concept was Hot Wheels for real. And it was how do we take from the toy, from the toy world and create stuff that the kids were doing with their toys. The actual wall jump, which was a track that was off of a door that the kids would send the car off and it would do this big jump. So, yeah. and then the corkscrew with uh, the dune buggy that we have here, similar, yeah. Yeah. similar one. So yeah, they came to us with that idea and Hot Wheels for real. We sort of went back and looked at the toys and thought, well, these are the things that people would want to see for real. Yeah. And uh, came up with these crazy stunts. We broke three world records in, I think it was 16 months total. How do you take that from, you know, kids' imagination with Hot Wheels into real life? I mean, what's the process for making sure that uh, you, you're still still going when yeah. you get to the top? Well, so much, I mean, for us, it's like, this is what we do, right? We've been doing this for most of our lives. I came out of racing professionally, Tanner, professional racer, and there's always a lot of parameters that are sort of unknowns until you get into it. Yeah. Um, but that's where it was so fun to work with such a neat company. Yeah. And I think the same thing for us with Caterpillar, like this... As I was actually leaving to come back here from, I live in California, um, my nephew lives two doors over and he, he had a couple of tractors and the Hot Wheels cars. I mean, he has those in each one of his hands right. always. The gear. So for him, like this, this is like the most fantastical thing he would ever imagine. Caterpillar set some big yellow iron to moving thousands of yards of dirt, carving a sandbox Hot Wheels fantasy from life-size stunt cars to shoot the latest cat trial video. Nearly a mile of track is squeezed into an Edwards Demonstration Center amphitheater to create a playground feel. Drivers demonstrate a finesse and control that really looks like play. It's neat to take something that's, that's, that's such a big part of being a kid and then bring it into you know, adulthood in a way. All the equipment that's, that's on site here, it's mind blowing how impressive and how large and the scale and the capabilities and yeah, how, all the work how fast, done. yeah, all the work they've done. I mean, you look at like this track, I was here a couple of weeks ago and it was just a grass field. Yeah. And now you've got, you know, this amazing piece of property with jumps and all these things going on and beautiful groom corners and a, it's neat to see him. I know you guys had a chance to talk to Hubert earlier, who's, yeah. who's just rock star when it comes to building this stuff. Literally for him, this is heaven. All the equipment and getting to see all the things and, you know, learning how many new features there are, it's been pretty special for him. Do you have any stories that you could share about kids who saw any of the stuff that you did and said, I want to do that and got into the business? I have a, an older son, he's 24 years old, and um, I spoke to his class in elementary school about what we were doing with Hot Wheels. And one of his friends, we ran into him the other day and he said, yeah, I just wanted to tell you, like that really made a big difference in my life, knowing that you thought of something that had never been done and that you just went for it. And when you talked about it, I thought about that with my life and a lot of what I've done, he's actually gone on to be a really uh, competitive rower. And, you know, right. So yeah, so it's great to see like, that's, that's, that's what's exciting about stuff like this. It's like, it's great to push the boundaries. It takes years and years to figure out a lot of these, sure. a lot of these stunts. This entire project is a picture perfect metaphor for the company's emphasis on STEM education, demonstrating the essential disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and math to bring innovative construction to life. It's about imagining where you want to go yeah. and, you know, and, and, and saying, I'm going to get there. Right. Yeah. And I, and I can imagine, I mean, it's just like for Hubert, the idea, he looks at a piece of, of just empty land and sees what we have here mm -hmm. and is able to then build it. So you have all these, you know, and whether it's building home pads or, you know, demolition or whatever it happens to be, there are people in their field that look at something that most people would look at and they wouldn't see that and say, this is what this is gonna look like when I'm finished. Yeah. So then to have the equipment, whether it's the cars or Caterpillar's equipment to, to do what needs to get done, that's pretty special. Like it's a great, ex it's a great experience. It's not really just seat of the pants. There's, you know, there's a bunch of math involved yeah. in that too. You know, the opportunity to do things that have never been done before, that's really special. I mean, sure. it's pushing through those limits and that's, that's what's kind of fun. So how did you get into that? I mean, what was the, what was the thing that led Hot Wheels to, to Say, hey, Greg, can you help out, help us out with this? At the time, there was a production company that I was involved with that was really shooting like the big, crazy action stuff. Mouse McCoy was a good friend of mine, director and uh, uh, chief creative there. And so he he had this idea and, you know, just through the right people and right timing, we were able to really add creative to it that made it real. I think it goes back again to like being a kid, right? What's a, what, what do you want when you're a kid? This is, 
90% of kids, this is what they would want to be doing when they grow up. They want to be driving one of those, they want to be driving one of these. Right. So I feel pretty fortunate to be here uh, again to drive this. I wish I had more time too while we're here to even drive some of this. It'd be pretty special. The drivers who put the sizzle in this mesh is not only have experience applying STEM to take the guesswork out of jumping cars precisely over a line of a cat machines, but they also demonstrate how disciplined progress through their careers won them positions making a living, telling stories that test the limits of physics with fast machines. I'm really interested in that, that taking the imagination to, you know, being one of those very few guys, like you say, that drive stunt, stunt cars, that, that must, that's a level of commitment, you know what I mean? There, what does it take to get there? How did you get there? Once you've committed to it, you've done, you've done the testing, you've done the research, you've gone through it in your mind, the, the pluses, negatives, what if something happens? Uh, but at that moment that it's time to just do it, mm -hmm. it's being able to put yourself in that spot and not have your heart rate go up. You have to push the button. And that's, uh, I think that's maybe a little something that's we all have in common. Yeah. There were years leading up to that yeah. point where you even got the opportunity and you're applying, I assume, that same kind of commitment to the, to the project. You know, yeah, I'm gonna get up this morning and go race, or I'm gonna go you know, work on that engine, or I'm gonna work on that suspension system so it'll handle the shock of, right. of you know, coming down. And you know, one step after another, you get to the point where you know the guys in the production departments yeah. in, in, in LA uh, and can get that done. Well, I, yeah, it's so much of it, I think now, like in the social media age that we live in, the, the craziness of like flipping through your phone and seeing the, the most amazing things you've ever seen. Guys doing triple backflips on motorcycles and, you know, the jumps and, and everything else. It's very hard for people to be able to jump into that nowadays because they're really comparing their start with somebody else's finish, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you have to be able to step back and say, okay, uh, this is where I am. This is where my capabilities are. Uh, but I'd like to be here, and then you take the steps to get to that point, yeah. as opposed to some giant leap. The giant leaps, really, most people don't do giant leaps. It's right. really like the, the baby steps getting there, and I'm sure it's the same thing with, with driving the big equipment. Yeah. You don't just start out driving the biggest guy, right? You have to have some kind of right. training, and you, you, you train up through it, and you move up, move up the ladder, you know? Right. Right. There's a lot more to just pulling levers. Yeah, you, small, yeah. you fly a single-seater plane before you fly a jumbo jet, you right. know? Right, right. So, you know, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of that kid watching the World Series and, you know, uh, watching pitchers uh, yeah. pitch. And there's a there's a lot of commitment between, you know, that that moment and and actually being out on the mound. Uh, um, interesting, interesting story. Thanks so much for yeah, sharing. Yeah, no, this with is great. Us. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I it's can't be wait here. to see looking you to uh, jump over all yeah, that machinery. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. All right. Take be, care. Be looking down. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>